And yeah, Lady Swatch again is in front of you. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if you thought I wore Lady Swatches, but that isn't true. I just got watches from the girls. As you know, I am Wimin, and today we're taking a look at this beautiful Casio LTP V001. <laughs> I really don't think I need to say anything about this company because I think that all those who wear watches have worn or seen Casio at least once, be it G-Shock or some retros or some analog one. What you can see that is uh, worn by children, but also by business people, which is incredible. This company has a really wide range of watches for everyone age, clothing combination, genders, sports activities and of course your purchasing power. A company that should be imitated by the other manufacturers in many ways. From this you realized how much I love Casio as a brand. But well, let's go back to our specimen. This model comes in uh, is as many as nine different colors, combinations. As for the dial, you can choose black, white, yellow or green as we have today on the test as you can see uh, as for the bracelet it can be leather which can be brown or black or a metal one which can be steel in color and or gold you see there are really a lot of combinations so i believe that every lady will choose the right one for herself this one comes in combination with a gray dial and black Arabic number, which give a nice contrast. The hands for our minutes and seconds are also gray, so it's a little harder to read the time. And at the same time, they have, they are very thin. There is no illumination on them, nor are the markers. At the top, it says Casio, here. At the bottom, it says the mechanism is Japanese, here. Uh, which will be discussed later, and above that is a, it says that watch is a waterproof. Of course, it only applies uh, to hand washing, not to bathing or even showering. As you can hear, the glass is mineral, and the girls who wear it every day really takes care of it, so well done to her. As with the most cheaper watches, the, the case is made of a steel located on the surface of the brass alloy. In terms of dimensions, this is a very, very small watch, even for a woman. It's only two and a half millimeter in diameter, 31 millimeter uh, from lug to lug, and 7.6 millimeter in thick. And while on this metal bracelet, it's only 56 grams. And when it's on, on leather bracelet, it uh, have only uh, 21 grams. Imagine that. With such a small dimensions and mass, you will literally don't feel like you have it on the wrist. The bracelet is an oyster type, as you can see. And links are hollow. More precisely, it's a pressed metal. Uh, and this is also applies to end links. On the clasp in the part is engraved Casio here and in this part has a stretches that can be polished. It's simply locked by pressing and on the other side unlock. I forgot to say that the width of the bracelet is in this part nearly to the case actually from lug to lug is 14 millimeters down to 12 millimeters while the width of the clasp here is 14 millimeters. There are a lot of wiggle and hollow sound, as you can hear. But who cares about that in this price range, don't you? As you could tell by movement on the hands for a second, the mechanism is quartz. That means this watch is powered by batteries. Uh, it is a uh, Miyota from Japan, while the rest of the watch was probably made in China. The crown, as you know, doesn't screw down, and when it's pulled out on the first stage, the time is adjusted, and the hands for a second are hocked or stop. 
since I don't have uh, nails, I can show you that. Um, this watch doesn't have other complication. The accuracy is plus minus 20 seconds per month, while every three years you will have to change battery, which is a solid period. During that period, you don't have to worry about anything. Just put in your wrist and you are ready to go. A really beautiful watch is in front of you. I think uh, that it's fit into uh, into at least one co clothing combination of every lady and probably much more because it looks uh, elegant and sporty at the same time and therefore can be worn on uh, several occasions. I hope you, like me, like this watch because it is uh, really amazing, isn't it? All right, to sum up, those are my thoughts on the watch. Thank you so much for all of you who watched the video till the end. I hope you like this video. If so, then check out my other videos on the channel. Like usual, goodbye. I'll catch you on the next one.